This is a video on axillary vein access in a patient with existing leads uh, and subclavian occlusion. And you can see with the peripheral venogram uh, that there's this area of occlusion with extensive collaterals. And so we're going to attempt to uh, access the vein while the contrast is flowing. Again, having the contrast flowing into the vein plumps it up and makes it uh, easier to enter. We're going to use the stiffened micropuncture kit again because uh, when you go through fibrous tissue, the standard micropuncture uh, sometimes uh, does not track over the wire because of the fibrous tissue. So having a stiffened radiopaque dilator uh, is helpful under these circumstances. So we'll access while the contrast is flowing, and you can see here where the vein is indenting uh, as the needle enters the vein. Uh, and then we'll advance the wire uh, to the point of occlusion, and then carefully advance the uh, stiffened dilator with five French catheter over the wire that's what we're going to use, and advance that over the wire. And another nice feature about this micro, stiffened um, micropuncture kit is that the tip of the dilator uh, is radio opaque, so you can be sure where the tip of the dilator is uh, in reference to the wire. Now, you, once you get to this point, you don't want to jam the dilator uh, any further uh, because it'll disrupt the anatomy and make it more difficult to cross. So gently to that point and then withdraw the wire and you can still see the tip of the radiopaque dilator and then once the radiopaque dilator is removed and the 5 French outside diameter catheter um, is present, you can't see it. So now what we'll do is we'll attach the contrast injection system uh, to the uh, 5 French catheter so that we can inject contrast and then insert a wire uh, through the hemostatic valve. And we're injecting contrast here to see what the situation is. And you can see what appears to be uh, total occlusion of the subclavian at that point. Take heart. Uh, it's amazing how often uh, a wire will go through that fairly easily. So we take our uh, 035 angled tip hydrophilic wire, typical glide wire, and a torque device, and we put it through the hemostatic valve of the injection system. And very easily in this case, the glide wire um, follows through the occlusion and uh, down into the central circulation. And from here, it's just a matter of exchanging to a more supportive wire from the glide wire and performing venoplasty. So we'll talk about that more in subsequent videos, uh, but this is just an example of how to use the micropuncture kit with stiffened dilator uh, in a patient with subclavian obstruction. Thank you.